Hey, Dane, you were watching, obviously, from a different vantage point on, on Saturday. What, what was your take on, on how things unfolded? Yeah, obviously, yeah, pretty guttering, mate. Um, you see how much effort the boys put in during the week and not to get the result. Yeah, mate, we had our chances. Um, just a few moments. Um, obviously, the cards didn't help, but we were right in that game, right out to the to the 80th minute. So, um, yeah, just little things. We just we just come from a re review. So there was a few opportunities that we kind of missed. And, um, yeah, so it doesn't make it any easier, but it gives us plenty of stuff to work on uh, for the week. Anton, what were the, the main things to come out of the review? Um, for us, I think, you know, we fronted physically and our intent was there, but as Colsey, th as Colsey said, um, we missed a lot of opportunities um, and just sitting in that review, hindsight's a great thing and if we, could, if we had our time again, um, we would have executed those opportunities a lot better. Um, but I guess we've got to take those learnings, um, take the loss on the chin and move forward. Were they similar things to what went wrong a few weeks ago in Wellington? Um, some were similar, some weren't. Um, you know, we've grown a lot as a team over the last, you know, four or five weeks. Um, but, you know, it was disappointing the weekend that um, we probably didn't, didn't quite do uh, what we trained and didn't quite execute um, the pitches we should have seen. It's finally for me, uh, Anton, when was the last time you packed down on the side of a scrum? Um, I don't much training, eh? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, it's all we've got a <laughs> scrum penalty. <laughs> <laughs> nah, it's, it's been a while. I think it was the Lions uh, test, uh, what was that, 2017. Um, so I was, I was a little bit rusty. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Hopefully it doesn't happen again. Hmm. <laughs> Question for either of you. It's, um, oh. Oh. Mill with my AP. I, I, Can you say Sorry. that again? Yeah. Sorry. The old wife was not too flashy. Um, I was just going to say, are you likely to be back at full strength for the Pumas? Um, not to take anything away from the guys who did play, but obviously there was a few few of sort of our first first-choice players, I guess, left out? Um, I don't think, like, for us, we don't really feel like um, like a first-choice player or whatever, how you want to put it. Like, the guys that were selected were the best 23 selected and whoever's going to be the people to pick this week is the 23. You don't have, like, a, I suppose, like a hierarchy. That's probably you guys said is that, but we're full confidence in whoever's going to do that job to do it well and whoever gets a chance this week to do it they'll do the best they can so we don't see it like a team b team we're one team and whoever gets picked is there to do a job and the rest of the boys back them up Dane, uh, g'day mate mark here um you're not playing the wallabies this week does that add an element of freshness an element of the unknown uh, a little spring in the step for you boys yeah, it's obviously good, but very unusual to play like a team four times in a row. Um, and so I suppose with the Argies, they haven't played, I think they played Aussie A twice as well, so it's quite exciting, mate, um, facing a, another opposition. So, yeah, a bit more homework. Um, yeah, so it freshens it up. We've just changed hotels, which is nice. Um, so, yeah, fresh week, get into it, take the learnings from the weekend and um, get better for this week and face a new team that's pretty, um, yeah, a little unknown, but we, you know, very physical team and... I think they've been over here while over here a while training, so yeah, looking forward to it. Anton, do you do you have to expect, given the time the the Pumas have had to build up for this, do you have to expect you know that you'll get a pretty decent a decent uh, level of opposition? Yeah, I'm sure we will. Um, you know, they they're a passionate country um, and they're passionate men, so. You know, they've, they're they going to want to um, put their best foot forward and I think they'll be excited about versing us. So, you know, I have no doubt, no doubt that they'll turn up um, ready and rearing to go. Dane, it's Gregor from the Herald here. Um, mate, when I, when I played rugby, I never did any tackling, so I don't, I don't know how hard or difficult it is when you're, when you're a, a bigger man um, to go around adjusting yourself 
in, in relation, I'm talking here about office tackle. How, how hard is it when you set like that to adjust your body position in the heat of the game to make sure that you don't tackle high? <laughs> I can see where you're going with this one. Uh, mate, it is, our office is a big lad, but mate, we just got to be better. Um, we do a lot of tackling practice during the week, and it's only a split second to make that decision, but we've just got to, I suppose, lower our sights and our target to not get those red cards again because us tackling the same way ain't going to change things, so we need to be better and adapt. And a lot, probably much like World Cup, we sent a few reds over there and we did a lot of work to make sure we lower our, our height. And yeah, it's not just offers thing, it's it's all of us. We've got a few um, penalties around head high, so we need to be way better in that department because I suppose discipline was a bit of a probably let down on the weekend. So it's um, one on the, I suppose, on the chin for all of us to get in the tackle bags and lower our height and make sure we're better. Even if we've got a split second, mate, we've just got to make sure we get under the ball and, and not attack the head. How is um, how is Arthur? How's he been over the past couple of days? Have you been able to get around him and, and sort of talk him up as his hearing tonight? But how's he been in terms of his reaction? Yeah, oh, you go, bro. <laughs> he's oh, he's been a bit quiet, mate. He's obviously gutted. Um, he feels like he's let the team down, but yeah, we just try to get around him and um, I suppose make this little period the the best way that we can and just and just be his mate. Um, he's feeling very disappointed, but. He can't do much about it. He's just got to he put the team first and get on with it and help us out. And I'm sure once the hearing goes tonight, we'll get a bit of clarity of what's going to happen. So um, yeah, he's hoping for the best outcome and and a, hopefully a, yeah, a few a couple of weeks, man. And just for you, Anton Sam said after the game that he felt um, Aussie adapted a bit better um, with the cards and everything. Do you see it the same way? And how do you kind of learn? from that, given that it's unlikely that the same kind of thing could happen in the next couple of weeks as well. How do you actually learn from, from that? Yeah, I think, as we said before, we've just come out of a review um, and the same opportunities are still there. So I think for us, um, it's just about growing there and um, having confidence that no matter what happens, no, you know, if you're down to 14 or 13, um, you've still got to trust the game plan and know that the same opportunities will be there. Um, so yeah, we've got to take this one on the chin, um, and the beauty of that is that we'll learn plenty, um, and if we're ever in the same situation, um, we've been there, done that, and uh, we'll take plenty from it. There, is that us, team? Have you, have you actually seen anything oh. vision from the Australian like, internet's crap? But um, have you seen Aussie, Aussie A games for it? Yep. Um, they've from been the Puma game. Um, yeah, against the Yeah, the footage is on our laptops, so a few of the boys have had a look. Um, I think was it on TV? I don't know. I wasn't sure if it was on TV, but yeah, a few of the boys have started to have a look at this, some stuff. So you've got their games and can start doing some homework and, and see how they play and stuff like that. So yeah, we have seen the, the footage. Obviously, you know, they... <laughs> love the forward battle, you know, have a particularly big challenge this weekend. Yeah, very physical forward pack. Um, yeah, so we're expecting a, a big, I suppose, physical battle. <laughs> Uh, yeah, so, yeah, big men, passionate men, run very hard direct and um, set piece orientated. So, yeah, it's um, like I said, we'll get the footage, do some homework, and um, prepare um, like the, way, the way we need to. For us in New Zealand, we haven't seen the Pumas play for some time. Um, so, what was your guys' reaction to seeing them play against New Zealand A? How are they? Oh, sorry, Australia sure, A. Yeah. Um, how. Do you guys think they're looking? <laughs> um, yeah, I've watched a little bit of yeah, a little bit of um, their play, but it's more relevant to probably opportunities for us. Um, and they are looking sharp. Um, 
and as I said before, they're a passionate country and they've got some outstanding players. So we expect them to turn up like the, the Pumas um, do normally. Um, and yeah, so we think they're going to be sharp. They're going to turn up ready to go and we've got to expect that. Antoine, three from Reuters, have you seen any influence from Checker at all in the way the Pumas performed? <laughs> um, yeah, in all honesty, I, I probably wasn't <laughs> thinking, thinking like that when I was watching uh, the footage, but yeah, you know, I'm sure he has had an influence in that environment. Um, yeah, and he, he probably quite likes his, his four pack because he likes to run a play a, a fast tempo game with with um, big uh, ball carrying forwards, so I'm sure he'll influence in that way. Anton, Mark here again. Um, Mark. Is, is there a sense of frustration amongst you guys around, I guess, kind of a, a, a wee bit of a, 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 a kind of stop start? So you played pretty well in Auckland, but then a wee bit of a step backwards at the weekend. Just what's is there a sense of frustration that you haven't found your rhythm and groove sort of week to week yet? Yeah, certainly. I think, you know, within this group, um, players and management, um, we set our standards very high. Um, and it doesn't matter if we win or lose, we, we have a standard we want to reach. Um, and obviously, in the weekend, we didn't reach that standard. Um, and it always hurts uh, losing in the black jersey. Um, we all take a huge amount of pride um, going out there and we know what is required um, and to not, I guess, reach our standards personally um, and what the All Blacks jersey demands of us is disappointing. Um, but they will put fire in the belly uh, for this week um, and hopefully we can turn that around.